Welcome. In this tutorial, we want to show how to achieve a precise synchronization between the object's animation and the voice over in Prezi. First of all, let me clarify that this is a synthetic voice, and this is why, besides possibly a good pronunciation, this speech has very low vitality. I hope you understand that in this case clarity was more important than amusement. Let's start describing our scenario, a very simple prezi, with a three-step animation, where we have three groups that we want to fade in in sequence, accompanied by the corresponding voice over. What we would traditionally do, is to have one step with the frame, and animate that step with the three elements. It is important to notice that, even if the menu says that we are animating the frame content, the animation itself is specific to that particular step in the path. We will see how relevant is this distinction later on. With the traditional method, after animating all the elements, we would add the voice over to the step. The way Prezi works is by playing the voice over, and distributing the animation evenly along the duration of the narration. This forces us to make calculations in order to ensure that each element appears at the right time of the speech. It can result in a cumbersome and not precise process. The method we will show now is far more precise and easy. It begins with splitting the voice over in pieces, that is to have a separate mp3 file for each part of the narration. In our case a separate file for each of the three elements to animate. Then, we do not animate the whole frame in a single step. So let's remove any animation. At this point, we want to have as many separate steps as animations, in our case three and we want the same frame for all of them. As you will notice, in Prezi you cannot just create another step for the same frame right next. So we will create an extra step for dummy frame. Now Prezi allows us to create a new step for our first frame, that will appear at the end of the path and then we can drag it to be next to the first. We repeat this operation as many times we need, three in our case. So we now have three consecutive steps for the very same frame. And we can add the respective voiceover to each of them. We also animate each element of the frame in a separate step, according to the order and voiceovers. Let's see how it looks and sounds like, the voiceover is a synthetic female voice. We started from here, and then we traveled, and it was a very long journey. But we really enjoyed it, because the weather was fine, and the countryside beautiful. And we met pleasant people. And so on, and so on, with a very long description of the journey, resulting in a quite long voiceover. Until we arrived at our destination. Now, Prezi places the animations in the middle of the voiceover, and this is evident in the second step, where the speech was a bit long. If we want, Instead, the animation to be at the beginning of the voiceover, we need to apply an additional trick. Let's do it for the second animation. To do so, we need an additional step for the same frame, that we place just before the step with the long voiceover. Then, we remove the animation from the step with the voiceover, and add it to the new step right before. At this point we have the animation in a step, and the narration in the next one, what we need is the step with the animation to have a very short execution time, while Prezi would assign a default of at least 4 seconds. 
so we will force the step to last only 0.2 seconds, by adding a fake voiceover to it. The fake voiceover is an MP3 that lasts 0.2 seconds of absolute silence. We leave at your creativity the task to get such an MP3 file. Finally, we have Step 1, with first animation and first voiceover. Step 2 with the second animation and the 0.2 second of silence as voiceover. Step 3 with the second voiceover. Step 4 with the third animation and the third voiceover. Step 5 with the dummy frame. Let's see how it plays in automatic mode. We started from here. And then we traveled, and it was a very long journey. But we really enjoyed it, because the weather was fine, and the countryside beautiful. And we met pleasant people. And so on, and so on, with a very long description of the journey, resulting in a quite long voiceover, until we arrived at our destination. As you can see, we could synchronize very precisely the animation with the voiceovers, the only thing left in this example is to get rid of the dummy frame. Of course, this technique increases the number of steps in the path, but it will preserve the synchronization, in case you want to modify the voiceover afterwards, or add animations. I hope you found it useful, if not amusing. Thanks for your attention, and feel free to leave any comments.